Welcome back, everybody. You can see we're going to play some American Truck Simulator again this morning. Right now we've got a John Deere tractor loaded onto the back of our flatbed trailer. We are hauling this from Tonopah, Nevada to Carlsbad, California. We've got about 26 hours to complete this job. Uh, the trip is estimated to take 13 hours but of course we're gonna have to stop and get some rest at some point so that'll cost us eight should be able to pull this off without uh, any major uh, problems assuming that uh, nothing bad happens truck is at 100 percent I just took it to the shop had it all tuned up go ahead and climb in the cabin here get everything adjusted I don't think we need the wipers on here I don't know what the deal is with that so we'll go ahead and turn that off with the P key Looks like we're set there you can see it's 4.44 in the morning. Let's roll out. We are going to see the sun come up at some point. Probably not too far off. And we're off. Now, since my last uh, American Truck Simulator video that I posted, which was probably two, three weeks ago now, uh, I've upgraded my truck considerably got a sleeper on the back I've got uh, done a lot with the lights and stuff put some fancier wheels upgraded the tires uh, better air filter now, I haven't put the bigger motor in yet because that's like fifty thousand dollars and you can see by my money I'm down to nineteen thousand uh, I've also expanded my business I think the last video I shot for you guys uh, I had one driver under my employment I've now expanded that to two so I own three trucks uh, all Freightliner W900s exact same model obviously mine has the sleeper the other two don't um, I think the second truck I bought had the bigger uh, motor at 450 horsepower uh, our good friend Tina who's been with me for quite a while she's she's one of our drivers uh, she's still driving my original truck that I bought when I first started the business here. So she's actually making uh, pretty good money with the most basic truck we have, uh, which is pretty cool. Now, by rights, I should have given her uh, the fancier truck. Uh, the traffic here is just brutal, as you can see, and we got to make a left on this. Um, should have upgraded her to the truck, but I couldn't figure out how to do it, and I just wanted to uh, get playing the game, but she will eventually... Uh, once I figure out how to do that, we'll maneuver stuff around, get her in the truck that she has more than earned at this point. She's bringing in about $1,000 a day, so uh, that's pretty impressive. My God, this traffic. I might just pull out and uh, kind of block these guys a little bit. You can see a couple of other fellow truckers on the road. Looks like that guy is hauling uh, gas or propane or diesel or something. There's the buses. The buses are a... A uh, huge pain in the butt in this game. Oh my god, man, seriously? A stoplight here. Bulldozer in that truck. Do, 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 do. So much traffic. I suppose it's rush hour. Even out in the middle of nowhere, there's rush hour. Six o'clock, everybody's heading to work. Speaking of pains in the butt, there's those Winnebagos. My God, I hate those things. Whenever I get crashed into, it's almost always one of the Winnebagos. Drives me insane. I'm pulling out here. Screw this. Hope we're not getting traffic coming from the other way. That was not uh, particularly responsible. But you know what? We're going to be sitting there for like three hours if we don't get going. Uh, managed to get through that without making any contact. So that's a victory in my opinion go ahead and turn the lights off at the L key as it's daybreak 631 in the morning so right now we're estimated to roll into Carlsbad at 744 p.m. but we all know that's not gonna happen we're gonna have to stop and rest at some point full tank of diesel now this is my first trip out with the 18 speed transmission I was running a 13 speed with the retarder this is an 18 speed with the retarder i'm pretty excited to see how that affects everything in theory we should get better fuel mileage with that 
uh, should get better takeoffs off the line. More gears, the more options you have as you work your way around the roads of California and Nevada. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to miss my turn. I'm going to miss my turn. Okay, that's awkward. We're just going to go around this guy. Man, I wasn't paying attention there. I was too busy yakking instead of uh, watching the road and the GPS. It was a close call. All right, so I should have had two accidents here already, but, you know. Hang it right here, swing her nice and wide so that trailer doesn't whap into anything. Man, guys, I have had terrible, terrible luck. And it's not just bad luck, it's also just poor driving on my part. Uh, I've damaged the cargo uh, two straight times now. I was hauling a tractor up here to uh, Tonopa in my last mission, and uh, I was coming around the corners. It was like this really crazy... Okay, this SUV is turning here. We should be able to go. Bye. Let's go ahead and roll on out. Truck is coming. Looks like he's hauling a John Deere as well. I'm sure John Deere does not officially endorse this product, but... Anyway, I was hauling a load uh, here to Tonopa. Exact same cargo. It was a tractor. And I was coming around. It was like this really crazy, like, switchback through the mountains. Really tight turns. Uh, and let's face it, guys, I was going way too fast. But what happened is I just barely grazed another truck that was coming the opposite direction. Uh, damaged the load like 6%, which obviously doesn't sound like a lot. Man, guys, that ended up costing me like $3,000 and a ton of experience points. And as you're working hard to unlock new upgrades... Uh, new parts of the truck, new trucks all together, uh, you don't want to go costing yourself that big of a chunk of experience points. It's just devastating. Like right there, it was just like that, and I just barely grazed the guy. And man, it just, it, it boogered the truck up, it damaged the load, and I was like, shit. That sucked. This is a nice 70 mile per hour road. So once we get this big diesel engine spinning, uh, we're going to be able to really make some good time here. Although we're going to be turning as soon as I said that, of course. We're in 64 miles to go. Been using the Jake brake a lot more. You're going to hear that right now. That sounds great, doesn't it? Jake brake, of course, is an exhaust brake, um, engine brake. It, uh, I don't know the technical specifications of it. Don't completely understand how it works. Uh, it's got something to do with, like, opening up the exhaust valves on the motor. Uh, basically what it does is it slows the truck down without you having to use the conventional uh, air brakes. It saves on wear and tear, and it just it sounds badass. That's the main reason that I use it. I don't know if there's any long-term or short-term for that matter benefits to using it in the game but i just like i just like it it sounds cool that's another 70 mile per hour road we're on here of course fully loaded uh, these trucks take quite a while to get up to that speed if they can get up there at all get a little momentum as we go down this incline here I guess when you go down, it would be called a decline. Yeah, it was a turn just like this, coming around. Didn't see the guy coming. I was in my lane. I think the back end of the truck, the, the trailer with the actual load on it, just caught him. It sucks. We move on. The truck is fixed. I get too carried away here. Obviously, we're well under the speed limit, 10 miles an hour under... But the problem is uh, trying to control the truck as you go around these turns. Uh, when it's going wide open, uh, it can be a little hairy. Better just to play it safe. And I do believe if you take those turns too quickly, you can damage the load as well. This one's pretty sharp. Sharp enough where it's got uh, the signage there. And let's face it, this is a simulator. I mean, it's in the game's title. Uh, you might as well try and drive the truck as authentically as you possibly can or else. I mean, if you're going to drive it like a like a race car, you might as well go and play Project Cars or uh, NASCAR Racing or something. We're 
trying to keep the experience as authentic as possible. It's pretty cool because I, I've unlocked uh, the longer trips that you can make now. Uh, so I, I can travel, I think it's up to 650 mile distances at this point, and that just makes the game so much more fun. Uh, it's a little bit frustrating in the early going when you can only go, I think you start off at like 200 mile range. So I mean, that, that's not nearly as fun, but once you unlock those like great big long distances, you're not only going to make more money and get more experience points, because the bonus you get for delivering these long loads experience wise, it's just massive. Um, and that just leads to more upgrades. So, but it also makes the game so much more enjoyable because you have to remember that 650 miles in this game is not 650 miles in real life. Everything is scaled up, sped up, because who would want to travel a one-to-one -one ratio uh, in a video game? It, it just wouldn't be fun. But it's just a good middle ground when you unlock those long distances. It just makes it more fun. The trips take about an hour to play uh, in the game, in game time. I am really speeding here. i got to watch that get that back under control. We're on the middle of nowhere, so the odds of getting a ticket at this point are slim to none, but why risk it? We're gonna go ahead and put the cruise control on, which is the C key on my Corsair K95 RGB keyboard, which I absolutely love so far, guys. We're just gonna sit back and roll. Obviously, I can't play the radio uh, because of copyright issues while I'm broadcasting, but uh, I've been doing that quite a bit. Uh, Trucker FM is my favorite station. It's kind of a mix of 80s and 90s rock and pop. Really like it. They throw in some contemporary stuff too. It's just a good uh, all around balance. Look how tired I am already. Man, I'm gonna have to stop soon. This lady needs to get her hands on some Red Bull or something. Plenty of power to climb this hill, not lose too much speed, not losing any speed at all. For the longest time early on in the game, I stayed mostly in California, but now that I've started exploring into Nevada, man, I really like what they did with the uh, textures and stuff like that in the game. Nevada is very pretty. Now you can see how nasty these curves you could get in a lot of trouble going around these things we've slowed all the way down to 23 miles an hour there but like i said you know we're here to make some money turn a profit for game block truffing trucking we're not here to wreck the load it's not a race keep going straight put the hammer down i don't know if the cruise control kicks back in automatically but we'll find out rest right there but I didn't take it I think we'll uh, find another one in plenty of time you know you can see the indicator for the rest is uh, right above the GPS it's right next to the fuel gauge right to the right of that uh, to the left of the email icon which I've never once looked at my emails in this game the only time I see them pop up is when you can't pay your loan installment and the bank floats you up uh, uh, a loan to cover the loan it's happened a couple of times it hasn't happened for a while though had my cash up to about a hundred thousand dollars there for a while, but then I bought that second or that third truck, and we're back to uh, really breaking even right now. Let's see some kind of aircraft there in the sky. As we climb back up the hill. Yeah, it looks like a helicopter. There to uh, the left portion of the windshield, about to come right into the center. Haven't seen a helicopter yet. That's pretty cool. up on an abandoned farmstead on the right or on the left very familiar with those growing up in uh, the middle of nowhere in minnesota lots of abandoned building sites there airplane and we are rolling making really good time here 255 miles to go now this job doesn't pay a whole lot i've kind of I've uh, been doing these $13,000, $14,000 jobs 
Uh, they're shorter, not that much shorter, but uh, a couple of jobs I had recently were twenty-one, twenty-two thousand dollars uh, hauling more a dangerous cargo like dynamite and fertilizer uh, and some kerosene stuff like that. That's where you really make the big bucks here. Another airplane, man, that thing's really moving. That must be like some kind of military aircraft or something. Loan installment, hate to see that come across. You can see I'm paying uh, almost nine grand a day uh, in loans right now. That knocked my money down to $11,000, ouch. And I think the way the game is set up, the more uh, experience points you have, uh, the more you level up, the more expensive like red lights, uh, traffic violations and stuff like that cost you. So like, Getting in a uh, getting a speeding ticket right now is like fifteen hundred bucks, so you just can't afford to be doing that. Name of the game is to make some money, it's like in real life. Hanging right up here. Five hours ago, it's going to be really close whether we're going to have to rest or not. I think we're going to have to, but that, that just takes a minute. There's a Jake break, and I'm really having trouble uh, watching my GPS today. I don't know what my deal is. We're nice and wide. Don't want to run into the curb, damage the cargo. Man, this is a weird looking road. This looks like uh, one lane or something. Really crazy trees there on the left. Yeah, looks like we got a rest stop up here. We're gonna go ahead and pull in. Got some shut eye, which should take us, I don't know, to the evening. Do a little bit of night driving today. Tiffany G is leveled up. My new driver has leveled up already, so she's uh, doing good work. She's not making a ton of money right now, just a couple hundred bucks a day, but she will eventually work herself up to uh, getting a couple gram, like, like uh, Tina has rest stop here, catch some rest, we'll continue on with our journey. Uh, these rest stops are the best, you can just kind of pull in, you don't have to maneuver around. Mark, shut the engine off with the E-key, let's take a nap. And it's dark. Alright, let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Put the lights on with the L key. Let's get out of here. past the stop sign seems to be the only thing we got plenty of fuel don't need to stop at the gas station on the left there looking left or looking right looking left and we're off you can tell i'm started to use the mouse let's hit the high beams here i've been starting to use the mouse to look around rather than the arrow keys uh, at first it was very jarring but i kind of dig it now check out the tumbleweeds guys sit back and watch the tumbleweeds roll by up on midnight yeah it looks like my two uh, other drivers pulled in a good three thousand dollars today you can see we're up to fourteen thousand dollars almost fifteen thousand uh, so the the other drivers had a good day it looks like sucks to have to make that investment because you have to pay them you have to hire them uh, you have to buy them a truck of course and of course there's all the maintenance that goes along with that truck the oil changes the tires area now at night I usually take a few more chances as far as speeding because uh, you don't see any traffic out here in the middle of nowhere a little slew of tumbleweeds there
such a sense of tranquility uh, driving a truck in the middle of Nevada uh, in the middle of the night. We got some traffic coming here. We're going to dim our lights so we don't blind that guy. Hang a right. Back highway 15. Look left, and it looks like we're clear, so we can go ahead and pull on out, I think. Our trucker heading the opposite way. Maybe he's going to uh, our pickup point. Kind of a dick move to hit the high beams on uh, with incoming traffic consistently coming. Ooh, and there was a cop, too. Just Right after I was bragging about how there's no cops in the middle of nowhere, a cop shows up. Hopefully he wasn't too uh, offended by the fact that I have my high beams on. I'm going to go ahead and turn them off. I just don't think it adds a whole lot right now. There's another cop. Cops everywhere. What are you guys doing out of 111 in the morning? Maybe we're close to Vegas. What's this all about? Is that flashing lights? No, I thought maybe it was a like, cop right there some kind of city. I don't think I've actually been through Vegas yet in the game. I don't think I've discovered it. I just haven't had an opportunity uh, to deliver a load to Las Vegas. So I'm looking forward to that. Aw, oh, shit, they got me for speeding. 500 bucks. God damn it. Stop light. Got to make sure if you creep past that line, you will get a violation. Hit the gas. Or I guess you'd say hit the diesel in this situation. Trucks don't run on gas. Honestly, guys, I don't notice that big of a difference with the transmission. It just seems like there's more shifting. Getting 5.8 miles to the gallon, which is pretty much what we were getting before. That was probably five, six thousand dollars just wasted, which is not great. But you know what? It's a game. It's not like we wasted the money in real life. Angeles. We're going to be hanging left up here, so we're going to go ahead and switch lanes, or is that a cloverleaf? I better just stay where I am. Yep, cloverleaf. Harder than the Jake break. Better hit the regular break here, too. God, I love the sound of that Jake break. I have the Jake break mapped to my G27, one of the buttons on my G27 racing wheel. That works really, really well originally mapped to the B key on the keyboard. Yeah, we're going to take the clover leaf and just go around and around and around. Man, these clover leaves are uh, pretty terrifying when you've got a great big load on the back of your truck. Gonna go ahead and just merge. Middle of the night. Nobody's coming. 2.40 a.m. Really close to delivering the load here. 61 miles to go. Made it take us an hour and a half. High beam time. Thigh beams. We're immediately going right here. Oh, wow. Okay. I thought that that was going to be like an exit. That way too fast. Way too fast. Man, we're like going out in the middle of nowhere here. I'm recording this on Wednesday, uh, April 5th. Or April 6th, I'm, or rather. Uh, so yesterday was the release of the home release on Blu-ray and uh, 
DVD of The Force Awakens. That's right, the most recent Star Wars movie is available to watch at home right now. Haven't had a chance to check it out yet, but I went through the special features uh, yesterday. Uh, it's okay. Pretty good making of documentary. The deleted scenes, uh, which was kind of funny because that was kind of the marketing campaign uh, for the... Uh, home release was the deleted scenes. Lots of commercials on the internet about how awesome the deleted scenes were. But they were okay. Everything that was in there, I can understand why it was cut from the film. Uh, if you're looking for like some great big uh, director's cut release with an extra half hour of footage incorporated in the movie, we didn't get it. It's just the standard film. There's one version of it. That's okay. If they were going to add in the stuff that was in the deleted scenes and call it a director's cut. I'm glad they just left it the way it was. Nice and slow, nice and slow. We're almost here. It's like we're delivering to, well, it's a tractor, so of course we're delivering it to a farm. Wouldn't make so much sense to deliver a tractor to the city, although I'm sure they have some kind of use for it, but see what kind of farm we are delivering to. I've delivered a couple to um, wineries. Maybe that's what this is. Kind of looks like it. Oh, that's definitely a winery. Here we go. I'm going to approach the little green icon. Yeah, that's a winery. All right. Take a look. I'm playing it safe. Yeah. Go ahead and try and park this thing. All right, we gotta swing around the barn here. That's not really a barn. I don't know what they'd call that. I, I'm not familiar at all with um, the process of running a winery, so. Try and pick up that 15 uh, bonus experience points by parking the trailer. I'm not quite up to the point where I can do the hardcore maneuvering. That gets you 40 bonus points, but uh, we're, we're working on it. Ooh, this is going to be a tight turn. Should have swung that way wider than I did. Ugh. I don't run into anything here. Oh, man, no. I almost did it back up. Good thing I was watching my mirrors. All right, let's swing wider. We don't want to... We don't want to damage the load this close to delivering it. It's kind of... Oh, man, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. I think I missed it. Back in. Oh, oh, oh I had it. Jesus, I had it. There we go. Let's see how we did. Excellent! 526 miles traveled, 23 hours and 48 minutes. We burned almost 90 gallons of fuel. So close to level 13, picked up 705 experience points, made about $13,000. Not a bad day at the office. The office being a 18-wheeler. do it for us today. 1% damage? Somehow I damaged the truck there? Let's take a look at the diagnostics. That looks like, well, wheels. I suppose that's just general wear and tear. Cost $200 to fix. I'm not going to worry about that right now. So that is today's episode of American Truck Simulator. We are going to work hard to make this a regular uh, portion of GameBlock.com because it's just such a fun game to play and everybody seems to dig it. So uh, thanks for watching. We will post one of the, another one of these videos very soon. Have a good day, everybody.